it up. RuPaul's Drag Race is back, and the competition is already heating up. Season 16 just debuted, giving us a new group of queens, a truly wild talent show, and an extra special guest drop in. Hello, is anybody here? Hi! And of course, Ru had to stir things up with a big twist. RuPaul is throwing more twists and turns than the teacup ride at Disneyland, bitch. But more on that later. Let's start from the beginning, with the queens entering the workroom. Q was up first. I look good in this mirror, too. I will serve a look at every event that I'm at. I walk in and I'm the grandest person in the room. Always guaranteed. The Kansas City Stunner was followed in by Tsunami Muse, a New York City queen originally from Panama, who already has a connection to the show. Her drag mom is Candy Muse. Candy is the aggressive muse, and I'm the graceful muse. She's more ah, uh, and I'm more. Third in was a mandatory meeting. A mandatory meeting. What kind of drag do you do? Good drag. Good drag. <laughs> I was gonna be like, you sure? But I'm kidding. I'm, like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Next was Morphine Love Dion, the Latina goddess of Miami, who showed off her mug and her curves. My voluptuous, juicy ass is 100% natural. And by that, I mean BBL. Sapphira Cristal is Philadelphia's crown jewel, and she strutted in in a royal blue look. She's an opera and jazz singer, and those are just some of her talents. I host, I sing, I dance, I do comedy, I act. What aren't my performance strengths? That's a, that's a shorter list. <laughs> Next was Las Vegas space queen Mirage, who made quite the entrance. I hope you trash bags are ready to lose. Okay. I am feeling like a bad bitch because I just called everybody trash. I hear the whispers. I hate her. <laughs> and I am choosing not to address them. And last was Dawn, who also did not hold back. Rise and shine, mother It's Dawn. Ooh, Ooh nice. she's got a potty bow. We'll meet the rest of the queens in next week's episode. But now that the first half are here, they all got started on their mini challenge, which was a photo shoot on Rude's porch. Come closer. Closer. If it's close enough. Oh, oh, no, back up. Back up, girl. What kind of bacon you got? Vegan. Bitch, you better get off my front porch. Okay. They all got a surprise visit from Love Connie, who made the perfect nosy neighbor. You were going to church at First Baptist. I don't like church. Church ah! don't like you, you little heifer heathen. Get in the car! When Sophia hit the front porch, the camera loved her. And all that posing paid off. The winner of today's mini challenge is... Sophia Cristal. Now it was on to the maxi challenge, which turned the main stage into an MTV spring break talent show. But there was a twist. The winner gets immunity, which we haven't seen since season five. And Rue had another surprise in store. This week, I will not be judging you. What? Instead, you'll be judging each other. Ooh. Using a peer evaluation system we're calling Raider Queen. <laughs> And the ranking could go any which way. The strategies are endless. They could vote based on friendship. They could vote based on strategy. They could vote based on who loaned them a rhinestone tank top for the runway. As they got ready for the talent show, the doorbell rang. And it was none other than Charlize Theron. Sorry, I'm just staring. <laughs> Stare away, baby. I mean, look at his outfit. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Right. Chateau Dior in the house. Oh, Charlize offered the queens a sweet message of support. There's a lot of energy being put towards your community not existing. I truly believe that all of that is coming from a place of fear. Yeah. Yeah. The beauty of who you guys are, what your community brings to all of us, and the truth of who you are and what you represent will come out. Yes, so exactly. So don't give up. Then the queens continued to get ready, and Morphine got personal, revealing that her parents don't know that she does drag. Wait, you live with them and they don't know you do drag? All my life, I lived like Hannah Montana, like Whoa. double. God. I don't want America to be like, how do they not know? But I never come home in drag. I never leave the house in drag. My parents have never seen me in drag. It's very much the elephant in the room. Morphine said she doesn't know how they'll react to her being on Drag Race, but she's done stressing over it. I'm just ready to live my life and not focus on the worry of my parents catching me anymore. I'm ready to just be me. 
Then came the talent show, hosted by the one, the only, Derek Barry. Morphine kicked it off with a sizzling dance, while Tsunami, Amanda, and Don all performed their original songs. And Don's was out of this world. A Don performance is very out there. I'm a little crazy, I'm a little kooky, but I'm always gonna try to give it a story. Raj also danced to her own song and killed it with her floor work. Q's ballet was hysterical, basically leaving Rue crying laughing. There is a very fashion side to my drag, but also like very high stupid camp to my drag. <laughs> Safira showed off her opera chops in a hilarious way, showing us the translation for her aria. <laughs> Then it was time for the runway, and the category was Reveal Yourself. The queens gave some memorable looks, including Tsunami's ravishing red number, Morphine's towel dress turned swimsuit moment, and Dawn's abominable snowman realness. Amanda went from a doll to an alien dominatrix, but her entrance literally had wigs flying. Calling all staff, there's a mandatory meeting. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that again? Oh my god, you can't put that in. <laughs> Whatever, leave it in. And a standout look came from Q, who turned into a butterfly and made Charlie's jealous. I was like, me, I wanted to wear that. I was in Snow White and the Huntsman. Who made this outfit? Me. What? She and the other queens got love from the judges and some critiques, but their opinions weren't the ones that mattered this week. It was each other's. Each went in to do their rated queen rankings, which kind of felt like the show The Circle. They started with their favorites. In first position, obviously I'm gonna put Safira. She embodies the same over-the-topness as I do. In first, first position, position, I'm going to put Q, because she made me laugh the most. In second position, I choose Dawn. Her runway got me. The rankings kept going until those last two spots at the bottom. And unfortunately, in six, I'm gonna have to put Tsunami. I don't like that, but the outfit was a bit pedestrian. And in sixth position, I'm going to put Amanda Tori meeting for obvious reasons. Then, Rue revealed the top two queens of the week based on all the rankings. Safira, Crystal, and Q. <laughs> Thank you. And that's not all. This week, no one is going home. So instead of getting a lip sync for your life from the bottom two, the top two, Safira and Q, faced off for $5,000 cash tip and immunity. Their song was Break My Soul, and both had amazing performances. Safira gave the ultimate breastplate choreo, which had everybody laughing. You have to go back and watch the full thing. Ultimately, Rue announced the winner as... Safira Crystal. Congratulations, you're a winner, baby. That's it for this week, but next week we'll meet the other seven queens. So join us then.